Well, they fought for our country. Now they're fighting for jobs. Nearly 10% of all veterans in the country are unemployed. News 8's Mike Schraub reports on a new effort to get the troops back to work. My name is Ryan Friday. Nice to meet you. Men and women who are willing to sacrifice everything for okay. us now on a simple quest. I'm just looking to get a job. That's why I'm here today. Ryan Friday is a father, husband, veteran, and unemployed. No. He's hoping the key to his future success is in this room. It's an event for veterans to come in uh, and network and, and conduct outreach and walk away with more knowledge of benefits or options that they may not have had uh, awareness of prior to coming here. Okay, that's a phenomenal so, uh, program. In the last year, the Lancaster County Career Link added two full time veterans' representatives, helping vets connect their military skills to civilian jobs. All bring something unique to the table, and that's leadership. Uh, that is a trait that's developed and honed in the military. A skill highly sought after by the dozen employers who showed up for this career expo from all kinds of industries, and in some in some cases, it's veterans on both sides of the conversation. Initially, like, I don't know if I could, you know, I don't know if I could do that. I could just relate to my personal story about how I had the same apprehension when I started 20 years ago. And Primerica, a financial services company, is hitting it rich with this crowd. Absolutely. We got uh, six really good candidates. I'm excited to sit down and chat with further. And Ryan Friday tell you what, let me give you my card. Okay. Give me a call. Is taking home more than a few prospects as well. I have four young children to worry about. My wife, um, she's a stay at home mom, and I'm just trying to get my life back together and uh, find work and, you know, and strive on. We as a community owe them the opportunity um, to get them on the path to success. In Lancaster, Mike Straub, News 8. And CareerLink expects the number of veterans looking for work to go down now that the U.S. mission in Afghanistan is coming to an end.